Sector Wars play Astro Blaster. If you destroy my city, if... Ha 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 ha. Alert. The intruder must not escape. Dragon's Lair. The fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight. You will be a scorpion too. Prepare to qualify. Oh, warrior needs food. Bad night. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Double Dragon 3 The Rosetta Stone. And this game has nothing to do with the uh, language learning tool. I <laughs> uh, no, this was uh, created by a company called uh, Eastern Technology. I believe it was called, no, East Technology and uh, also Technos. And this is the third game in the Double Dragon series. And uh, you can tell the difference between this and the last two Double Dragon games, or the first two Double Dragon games, uh, because of the involvement of the uh, East Technology Company. The gameplay is, uh, it looks a lot different. I mean, it's still a side-scrolling beat-em-up, but um, the... Uh, uh, technical aspects of this game are really awful and uh, I think this was a huge disappointment for uh, a sequel in the, the Double Dragon series um, it's very very glitchy in spots it, it just doesn't doesn't feel right like a part of the Double Dragon series like it should be um, you can play uh, up to three players, uh, but to do that, you have to uh, set a dip switch in the game. Uh, otherwise, it's one or two player play. There will be shops, but only in the US version of the game. In the Japanese version, there are no shops. In the shops, you can purchase with one credit. Um, uh, extra characters that you can use as backup lives. Um, you can purchase tricks, which will give you the uh, hurricane kick that was introduced in Double Dragon 2. And uh, there will also be another special move. There, You can maybe purchase weapons, like one. nunchucks I'm or a there. sword. And they really don't help you that much. Uh, and only the uh, the Lee brothers can use it. And you can start going in a shop right off the bat if you want. Um, you can also purchase extra energy. And note that the energy is in numerical digits instead of a life bar like in the first two games. And you cannot simply insert a credit and get more uh, life restored. Nope. You have to uh, you have to purchase this in the shop. Um, and you can buy uh, a power up, which will increase your agility. Um, but you have a limited amount of time. <laughs> Look at that power records. Jeez, uh, spoof on tower records. Um, the enemy is pretty good at trying to, uh, surround you. Uh, just move around a bit and get yourself comfortable. Um, but yeah, once you, uh, once you die, uh, if you have not purchased the extra lives in, uh, the shop, then you will have to, uh, spend a continue. You cannot restore your life outside of the shop by putting in credits. You will notice that guys, the uh, enemies will start to uh, tire when they're about dead. There is a special move that your characters can do, and I do not believe that this is 
a trick that you have to purchase in the shop. You can uh, move toward a fallen enemy and press the attack button and you will jump up in the air and stomp their gut to uh, finish them off. There will be uh, boss fights at the end of a stage and uh, after the first boss, the fights get brutally hard. Yeah, there is a uh, jump button, punch, and kick. And uh, when you uh, when you die and you have a uh, backup fighter or or multiple backup fighters that you purchased purchased in the shop, then the next one will inherit any uh, power moves. <laughs> that looked weird any power moves that you bought in the shop. And here you go in the door. You have to jump kick these, uh, these bikes. Or you can do the uh, uh, hurricane kick that, uh, that you buy in the shop. There are no shops in the Japanese version. That sucks. One good method to use against this boss, which is the, mo the red mohawked guy, he does love to jump kick you a lot. Um, is there is a kind of glitched area to the to the upper right? Um, you can stand on the boxes, and uh, you can kind of get the get the enemy in a kind of glitched pose where they can get uh, kicked or punched or hurricane kicked by you. Or it might be possible to goad him onto that conveyor belt and knock him off into the pit where he'll instantly die. And now this old crone, uh... Mission 2. Hiroko or something I think her name was. I'll just spoil it for you. She turns out to be a bad guy. What would you like? Oh. And now we'll go into a shop to start the second stage. And uh, you can, again, you can purchase extra guys if you have more coins. So you have a time limit and you see the coins that you have left. And the game will tell you if you can't purchase any more of a certain thing. And we'll get our energy way the hell back up to uh, 345. Those bosses can sure knock your energy down quick. And here I bought uh, Nunchakus. And really, they are so short uh, range that they're really not worth it. I don't think the weapons are worth it at all. You can also purchase a sword. And the, short, the sword isn't super long range either. I would, I would much more recommend you use the... Uh, uh, the hurricane kick and the enemies can knock the nunchakus out of your hands. In the Japanese version, like I said, there are no shops. Uh, but you might be able to pick up weapons, I think, from dropped enemies or they might be laying on the ground at certain points. You can visit that shop numerous times. You can uh, fight enemies in front of the shop uh, get your butt kicked, get your energy dropped way down, and then go back to the shop and, you know, with another credit, get your energy back. But yeah, the, the weapons are, are really lame in this game. There was a, uh, an NES port of Double Dragon 3, and from what I can tell, it's a lot better than the arcade one. This game was such a disappointment, I started playing it, and even in the arcade, I could tell the game was glitched as hell at points, and I was just like, screw this, this game sucks. And it does. <laughs> but like I was saying, that's probably because of East Technology getting their fingerprints all over this game instead of just Technos. But yeah, this has nothing to do with the uh, popular language learning tool, the Rosetta Stone. <laughs> I, I remember seeing this in arcades, and I was just like, oh, this game's terrible. Yeah, with this boss, the boss fights get much harder. And 
this guy has is he's big, he's he's strong, he's got uh, long range uh, kicking. The timer can be very unforgiving in this game. The seconds tick off quickly, and uh, you can find yourself uh, uh, not having enough time to beat a boss. And you saw me use the uh, hurricane kick just a second ago. See, I'm all, already just about out of time. You can maybe kind of glitch him against the far right wall. Ah, crap. Yeah, ran out of time. So here is my backup fighter that I chose, and he's Same. He's a fat kung fu master. <laughs> I just had one more hit on the boss, and I killed him. Mission three. So Japan. now I go to mission three, Japan. The missions are America, China, Japan, Italy, and Egypt. And Egypt has a ton of different areas you have to go through. And we have a, a dojo type atmosphere with, with bamboo uh, bamboo uh, sticks. And there is a shop to start off right here. Yeah, if you're gonna play this game, make sure you play the US, not the Japanese version. Because the Japanese version does not have the shops. And you really do need those shops. Now, really, the best way to tackle these guys, these swordsmen, jump on, uh, jump on the uh, the floor of the dojo, and uh, have those guys jump up to meet you and attack them right as they land. And again, you can uh, attack a downed opponent with any character by pushing towards them when they're laying on the ground and pressing the attack button, and you'll jump on their gut and finish them off. And again, uh, when you die, and you have, if you started with the Lee, one of the Lee brothers, um, your next character will have, uh, will have your ability, or whatever, uh, special powers you picked up from the shops. Yeah, a lot of the enemies love to uh, charge you if you're too far away. So uh, make sure you're you're not staying on the same uh, the same plane as them for too long. <laughs> you can you can do a wall jump too. You can like jump towards a wall and then push away from the wall, and jump again, and you'll jump back off of it. You can do that with any character, I believe. And here, you don't want to walk on this, on this part here. I did, and I shouldn't have. You want to push down and drop off of it, because there will be spikes poking up from the floor, and you can get hurt. So you just want to push down, and uh, drop down to that, uh, to the ground, and take on the enemies there. And also, once you beat all the enemies here, that door there will drop down and nail you if you're in the way, and there's those spikes. Ouch. I got hurt. Although that doesn't seem to hurt you, that door, if it hits you. And now we're just about to uh, face a, uh, a uh, third boss. And this guy is insanely hard. And he's a ninja, and he can create duplicates of himself. He can throw uh, shurikens at you. And he can throw smoke bombs, which can hurt you. It's a real pain. Yes. And it just killed me. I decided not to continue. And I didn't buy myself an extra couple of... Uh, backup fighters. When I was in the shop, I just bought one. But we will see at least snippets of the rest of the game. If you want to 
beat the uh, ninja there, you really need to explore a slight glitch in the far right wall to get him to kind of not quite get stuck in the wall, but kind of walk in a weird pattern so that you can hit him. We're going to look at some of the other moves that I can do. And yeah, when you purchase enough tricks, then you can jump towards an enemy and uh, press the uh, attack button and you can break their neck. And you can also do a dash move, which is double press the joystick twice in either direction. And you can press the attack button. And uh, you'll do like some sort of elbow smash or something. And if you approach an enemy from behind, you can suplex them with any character. And I am playing as one of the Urquidez brothers, and his name is Ronnie. Or Roni. There are uh, multiple different. Uh, backup fighters you can select from in the shop and uh, you can't really determine which one you want to pick you'll be just given them and see yeah you want to go these guys up here um, the Urquidez brothers are uh, and you again you want to fight here on the ground the Urquidez brothers are, are huge huge guys they have nice kick combos, but they're very slow. I don't really care for them. And we're going to go ahead and beat up the uh, ninja boss here. And it, look how glitched that is. They're standing on the wall? What the living hell is this crap? This game sucks. There he did a, a wall jump. But you kind of want to goad these guys into the wall where they get kind of glitched. And you might be able to hit him easier. That's kind of what you want to do with all the bosses because some of them can be really freaking hard. Unfortunately, they can't hurt each other, or at least it doesn't seem so. So they're kind of walking around in a weird spiral around me, and this goads them into being hit by me. Yeah, if you get into like a, a punching or kicking fight with the ninjas you're probably going to lose unless they're glitched into the wall and now we're going to go to uh, Italy. mission 4 Italy and this is like a, a Roman gladiator times here you've got these archers and you've got uh, you've got like a guy riding a horse a gladiator riding a horse uh, if you are too close to an enemy they will smack you with their their bow and for some reason that really hurts <laughs> this game sucks <laughs> uh, and they can fire arrows from far away you wanna let them get in a position where they'll do that and then go up and jump kick them you cannot knock this guy off of his horse that's really stupid but he will be the boss here. And he has a spear. And, uh... It's really hard to get close to him. See, he can swing his spear even if you're close and cut you. And he'll, and he'll uh... Hit you with a spear from far away. So... It's probably another another time when you want to uh, uh, get him glitched into the wall. And the enemies like to uh, get past you, so when you're punching one way, all of a sudden you're punching the wrong way. Alright, kill him. So yeah, you might need to glitch him in the wall. And even if you, like, jump kick at him, he can simply hold up his shield and it'll knock you back. This guy is a pain in the ass. By this point, you might have noticed I put on an infinite, infinite life. Uh, a cheat in main. But during the first uh, playthrough, I, or, or uh, you know, up to uh, three levels, I didn't put on any cheat. Yeah, with uh, with at least that guy, 
I cheated. Ran out of time just as I beat the mission. But it didn't cost me life. And we got another motorcycle guy here. Um, you can't fight that. That'll automatically pull you down here. And now you have to face these uh, forest spirits. And uh, they'll they'll whip at you from from a distance. And this guy, his jump kick is crappy. It's his regular kick combo that's pretty pretty good. But he has a jump. His jump kick is is sucky. So try to uh, just try to get as far as you can with with Billy or. Uh, Jimmy and hope that uh, hope that you don't get one of those giant guys because they, they generally suck. But uh, if you play the uh, three player version, you know, said the dip switch is right in MAME, then uh, you can choose uh, you can play as the third, and yes, I guess there's a third Lee brother named Sunny. You can also pick maybe, uh, you know, as, uh, you, can, you can also maybe play as uh, one of the other Urquidez brothers, or one of the other Chin brothers, or the uh, Oyama brothers. One of the uh, brothers, Oyama brothers, is named Kunio, but it's not the same Kunio from the the uh, other Technos games like uh, River City Ransom or Renegade or whatever. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. They turn into a uh, stump when you kill them. Huh? Okay, there we go. This door will never open without the three Rosetta Stones. You get a, a shop here too to start this part. Yeah, there's multiple areas in this uh, final level. Oh, this this game sucks. <laughs> um, this part here. Oh, it sucks. This hand will reach up at certain places and grab you and hurt you. And there will also be stone pillars that pop up. They will be in certain specific places, and you want to avoid walking over those. And this is the biggest pain in the butt right here in this game. You cannot hurt this spiked wheel thing that flies around, as far as I can tell. Plus, you have to face this, uh, no, this annoying uh, samurai boss with the spear. Hard to, he's hard to fight in close. Uh, you can't always guarantee a, a jump kick hit on him. Yeah, he, he can hit you with that sword and knock you back. And there's no uh, there's no solid walls to get him to uh, glitch into. And all the while you're having to watch out for these bladed discs. This bladed disc here. Um, let's just let me get to the door and get out of here. It, like bounces around a couple times and it dives at you. Now this part, you have to walk on the red letters in the right order, and don't let that guy grab you, or you have to start it all over again. So walk on the red letters. Yeah, you can't walk on the other letters. Spell it in the right order. R O S E T T A Rosetta. And then watch out for that guy coming from the right. Jump across quickly before he grabs you once you touch the O. <sighs> we'll just skip forward to me doing it right. Oh, he just missed me. R O S E T T A. And then you can go in that door right there. And now we're almost. Now we're getting closer to the end. You have to fight these uh, rock creatures that like to shoot shoot their hands at you. You can knock them into that pit. 
that's probably the best strategy. Yeah, I like this guy's kick combination, but that's just about all I like about him. Something I did not show yet is that uh, you can have uh, two players play at once, and you can uh, join together for a super strong hurricane kick. And I don't think you need to buy the uh, hurricane kick to be able to pull that off. And it's uh, much stronger than the regular hurricane kick. And they lock arms as they do it. It looks really suspect. <laughs> looks like they're doing some kind of river dance. <laughs> and now she shows that she's evil. You have to fight her. She's really not that tough. I mean, she can uh, she can hit you with her staff, or she can shoot uh, fireballs at you. But she gets knocked over real quick with a with just one good kick. <laughs> Why was that guy jumping up and down? What the f? This game is so badly glitched and stupid looking. But I, I think uh, what what the the evil gal is is doing is uh, protecting this uh, treasure room. There's like a treasure room if you can beat two final bosses. And the final boss is actually Cleopatra. Cleopatra's just protecting her treasure. Maybe uh, uh, the supposed protagonists of Double Dragon are actually the bad guys. <laughs> My treasure. And then you go in here and you will face a mummy. And the mummy just does not seem to want to be knocked over. I mean, you can just keep kicking or punching him and he just doesn't fall over. And he can grab you and then toss you. And you might be able to lull him into the kind of glitched wall trick. Or not. <laughs> this game is just, just awful. And uh, like I was saying, it's it's really because uh, Technos uh, let uh, or had another company do this game, which was known as East Technology. I'm sure Te Technos still had their uh, fingerprints on some of the game's development or something. But yeah, they just went in a big time different direction and it just backfired. Yeah, I'm just I just keep punching him and that he doesn't doesn't even get knocked over. This game sucks. It, as I said, there was an NES port. And there, even though the time was over, I I beat him, and now I have to face Cleopatra. And I put on his time here. Because she will uh, try to knock you backwards. So you need to have uh, have your timing down just right. She can also uh, send you with fireballs. I don't know if you'll be able to get her to uh, get into a glitched wall trick. Uh, probably. So much glitchiness in this game, and a lot of it just looks absolutely silly and stupid. It just I, I can't get into this game. But uh, again, as I mentioned before, the jet in the Japanese version you cannot uh, go into shops. There are no shops, but you can select which uh, which character family you want to play as. You can play as the Lees. 
um, Billy, Jimmy, and Sunny. You can play as the Urquidises. There, I beat her. Uh, Roni, Sunny, and Johnny. The Chins, Seimei, Taimei, and Sinmei. Or the Oyamas, Masao, Kunio, and Akira. We'll look at a little bit of the Japanese version in a little while. And you, since you can't go into shops, you can't buy tricks. And uh, you can't do the uh, hurricane kick, as far as I can tell. Unless you uh, link up with another character and do it. When the third stone is found, its power will change the world. You'll get to learn a different language. <laughs> and they use the uh, they use Cleopatra's jewels for charity. At, at any rate, uh, that was the rather crappy Double Dragon Three, the Rosetta Stone. And uh, yeah, there was an NES part of this, and from what I've heard. It's better than the arcade version, thank God. <laughs> just some cool ideas went into this, but the, the game was just poorly executed. Very glitchy and just kind of bad all around. <laughs> but yeah, we'll look at uh, some other things real quick. Um, some other moves that I might not have shown yet. But there's uh, Sunny Urquidez. Yeah, we'll look at the uh, the uh, uh, two-player Hurricane Kick, which is a lot stronger than the regular Hurricane Kick. See, they lock arms, and they do a, a spinning kick, and it looks very suspect, I think. <laughs> it's like something out of Riverdance. <laughs> well, here, if you play the Japanese version, here are the... The families you can select from Billy, Jimmy, Sunny, Lee, Roni, Sunny, Johnny, Orchides, Seimei, Taimei, Shinmei, Chin, and Masao, Kunio, and Akira Oyama. And again, that Kunio is not the Kunio from uh, a number of Technos games. It's a different one, or as far as I can tell. So let's look at a little bit of gameplay from the Japanese version. Put in some credits, and again, if you want to play uh, three-player simultaneous play, you need to. Uh, and you're you're playing on Mame, America. then you need to uh, set it up in the dip switch menu, and we'll look at that a little bit later on. And there are no. Uh, excuse me. There are no shops you know, uh, where you can get your tricks or whatever. Tricks, uh, extra lives, whatever. <laughs> Power records, that's so stupid. You could do a, a headbutt with, uh, uh, what is that? Masao Oyama. Uh, white Gi uh, Karate Master. And then here is uh, Kunio. I do not think it's supposed to be the same Kunio. And he could do a cool uh, flip. And that flip is in uh, the, the NES port of uh, Double Dragon 3. Yeah, the NES port is, is totally different. Well, not 100% different. I, I prefer it. But I prefer the first two uh, NES games than the third over the third. And see what you got to do in MAME is go to dip switches if you want to play three player simultaneous play, and then go down to players and select three. And that way you can play some of the players that you couldn't play in the regular Double Dub Dragon 3, including uh, Sonny Lee right there, the third uh, uh, Lee brother. But that was Double Dragon 3, the Rosetta Stone. Uh, really, really bad game. I was uh, very disappointed in that sequel. Well, this is Crazy Climber Radius, and thanks for watching Double Dragon 3. And I will catch you later with another video. 
Y'all have a very, very happy holidays, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.